Hi, this is Professor Charlie Evans, and this morning I want to just talk a little bit about the ancient Near East. And this is material material that is relevant for both Western Civ and World Civ courses online and on campus. The first thing I'd like to say is that it's the ancient Near East, and so one of the problems we have with the courses and how we're teaching is we have to focus. And so if you're really interested in ancient Egypt and mummies and tomb raiders and pyramids, I'm not going to talk about ancient Near East. I'm going to be focusing mostly on Mesopotamia. Uh, there's material in the textbook on, on ancient Egypt. Um, there's a little bit in the course. You can ask myself or any of the other professors teaching the course for more material about ancient Egypt. Some of them spend a lot more time on ancient Egypt than I do. I don't spend any time on ancient Egypt. And that's just my choice of what I'm going to focus on in my lectures. And so most of my lectures focus on the area known as Mesopotamia. Now, we start both Western Civ and World Civ uh, with Mesopotamia. In the World Civ course, we could just as easily have begun to co the course by focusing on uh, the emergence of civilization in China or in India or in, even in uh, Mesoamerica and everything. But for a variety of reasons, I've chosen Mesopotamia. And you're looking at a map of Mesopotamia kind of superimposed on the region of the Near East as it exists today. And you can see the outline of the present day states of Iraq, Iran, Turkey, Syria. And you can see Mesopotamia kind of is an amorphous, ill-defined region that flows uh, through these state areas of today, roughly corresponding to the river basins of the Tigris and Euphrates. And if you look closely at the map, you can see some of the important ancient cities that you're going to come across in your reading in a textbook. Uh, you see Babylon, you see Uruk, uh, you see Assur, um, these are all centers of important Mesopotamian civilization as it existed roughly uh, five to uh, 3,000 years ago. Now, the other interesting thing on the map here is this, uh, if you look really closely here, uh, the approximate extent of the Persian Gulf. And so you see, uh, until the 6th millennium BCE, the Persian Gulf actually uh, was further inland than where it, or it exists uh, today. Um, the other thing about the ancient Near East is that the, the course unit is largely focused on the Sumerians, uh, which were the first uh, society to uh, organize and create a, a, a civil, if we use the term civilization in Mesopotamia, roughly a 3200 to 2000 BCE is the Sumerian era. And uh, we focus on the Sumerians largely because the, your reading and your assignment this, for this course is based on the Gogamesh epic. Um, there's, there, there's different versions of the Gogamesh epic, and so uh, that's I cover in a different uh, video. Uh, but the Sumerians, roughly 3200 to 2000, um, we know that the city-states of the region were first united by a king known as Sargon, and that's roughly the 2300s. Look, at, let me mention something about dates while we're, we're here. This is a good time to talk about dates, since dates are going to be appearing throughout the course. It's really hard to speak with real certainty about dates when we're talking about date, dates that occurred 5,000 years ago. And so, uh, while we might put the reign of Sargon as 2370 to 2315. Um, that's a complicated matter to try and establish exact dates over that period of time that long ago. And so just keep in mind that there might be a little uncertainty with these specific dates. Um, um, so we associate Sargon with the creation of the first uh, civilization in Mesopotamia. Uh, a civilization based on agriculture, based along the river valleys of the Tigris and Euphrates River. Um, a civilization that was based on city-states, and these are, uh, in, in simplified terms, a city and the surrounding territory. And these city-states were united into a larger 
uh, informal kind of kingdom. It's really hard to use the term, any kind of term of, of, of our conception of nation or country to define these early empires. And so it was really kind of a loose association uh, under the leadership of the king that created the empire. Um, uh, the empire uh, lasted roughly a thousand years. That's a pretty, that's a pretty long period of time when we're thinking in historical terms. Um, and so uh, the Sumerians are credited with uh, the invention of a phonetic alphabet, uh, the use of a lunar calendar, uh, the creation of wheeled transport, the creation of massive architecture, uh, the ziggurats, and actually the cities themselves. And so this early Sumerian civilization then left an impression or a standard for the succeeding civilizations that arose in Mesopotamia in the centuries uh, to come. And that would include uh, the, the Babylonians, um, the Assyrians, and the Babylonians again uh, in the first century. So as we're reading all this information about uh, Mesopotamia in the textbook, uh, look, keep a map in front of you so you can constantly place uh, the names that are being discussed in the textbook. And this is really a great map because it puts it in the context of pr the present day extent of the region. And you can see how there's kind of an overlap between what existed and what happened three, four, five thousand years ago with what is currently ex uh, existing in the region today. And so that's really important to remember. Uh, the other thing to remember about Mesopotamia, and this is the last thing I want to say before the, the video gets too long, is that uh, Mesopotamia is really uh, the center, the birthplace of the of three of the world's major religions. Um, of course, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam all find their birthplaces in the Near East. Um, and that's something we'll talk about later in the course. And so we open the course then with the Near East, with our study of Mesopotamia, and then our reading of Gilgamesh. Good luck. Thanks.